when you're changing the float value on a calculator, what you're doing is you're changing how far past the decimal point you want your calculator to calculate your result. So here, if you notice, the float starts at zero and goes all the way up to nine, right? If you could, if you want all whole numbers, you would select zero because then all of your results would go zero places past the decimal value. So to change this, I would just scroll down. I first press mode, and now I scroll down to float, and then I just scroll over to the value I'm looking for. If I select three, right? Now it's set up to float up to three places. So now if I enter in something like the square root of 20, so we have 20, and we're gonna enter in 20 to the 0.5 power, that's the square root of 20, I get 4.472. Notice I've floated past the decimal by three places, which is exactly what I selected here. If you don't change the float value and you enter in something like the square root of 20, what you're going to get is this right here. Notice the standard value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 places past the decimal. And you could lower that if you'd like, but on this calculator the highest float is 9, and that's the standard that they give you uh, unless you change it. Alright, hope this helped.